Hey, what's good everyone? If you have been following my channel for a while, you probably know that I'm a big Diodora fan. And of course, I like to have a little addition to the Diodora family now and then. And what is better than having one addition to the family? It's having three editions. But don't worry, we're only going to be covering one of them today and the other two are going to appear in separate videos. So uh, today we're going to be taking a closer look at uh, a release from the Espresso Ristretto line that is the OG line from Diodora and it is the IC4000 in the white cast rock colorway and as it comes in a made in Italy box of course it is made in Italy so we're gonna be taking a close look at this one right after the break So here it is, the IC4000, the Whitecast Rock colorway. This is not the first time I'm buying an IC4000. The first one was the Soulbox pair from the Soul to Real pack. I uh, bought it off of eBay for a decent price, 65 euros, I think. Uh, I did like the colorway. Um, the leathers on it were great. Um, you had some, I think, kangaroo leather and some fish skin leather, stuff like that. Very subtle, just black and a couple of gray, red end and red hits, really great colorway. But uh, when it arrived and noticed, I heard from, from other people saying that um, the tongue was very short. I mean, it was so short that it was driving me up the walls. I just couldn't stand it, so short. Uh, it was, and the thing is, I mean, if you look at this one here, you see already that it is a little bit shorter than usual as well, but this is something that I can live with, but with the Soulbox pair, uh, it didn't even go up to the second last lace hole. The thing is, as soon as you were trying to tie your shoe, uh, you could feel the laces running over your feet and I could not stand that at all. So I returned it and I never wanted to know anything about an IC4000 again. I think I despised that shoe. It really was driving me up the walls and I just let it sit or just shove it away from me but each time I saw this pair I was thinking like ah I was supposed to get it because the thing is I want to complete the Espresso Ristretto line and of course this one belongs to it it's an N9000, U7000, the Eon, the Intrepid, IC4000 and just you have to start somewhere you just have to go all the way if you want to complete it so I gave myself uh, so I gave myself a push and I got it I talked to a couple of people who I know on this one and asked for their opinion and uh, that assured me to get it anyway so it came and luckily the tongue is a little bit longer and um, the other thing I was afraid of because the on the soul box pair the toe box was a little bit square and also the material was a little bit more stiff and rigid and uh, it was a little bit difficult to, to bring it into shape, but on this pair here, the, the toe box is a, a lot better, and the material is also a lot softer. There is no underlay, nothing, which is, is forcing the material into a certain shape. It's just a natural shape that it has, and I really, really like that. Um, mentioning the materials already, I think the materials on this one are really, really great. This is a very nice pigskin suede here, and as you can see, this has some nice brush strokes to the to the nap here if you brush your fingers over it. Um, the Adora logo here is very nice quality as well. This is gonna get a little fine creasing here over time and but this is no cheap stuff. This is really really good. Also you have the uh, same nice suede here on the on the back of the shoe throughout the whole shoe actually and then the rest is of course uh, a mesh which is so fine that you could define it as a nylon already and uh, very nice materials and also the craftsmanship on mine is fine nothing to complain about it has a very I think this tread pad in here is more designed for the use on the street and not as the N9000 or V7000 for, for off street or yes for off street terrain um, I do like this one quite a bit actually. Yep. On the inside you just have the a black insole and the Adora logo here. Um, of 
course, the IC4000 is not the Adore's most favorite model. Um, probably because they messed up quite a bunch of the pairs from the Soteria pack. Um, or it was just bad timing. Um, I don't know. If this is the, the shape of this one is a little bit like a cone head, if you remember the series by Saturday Night Live, that was also a movie to this. And uh, yeah, the star shape, but this underlay here on the toe box is a little bit odd looking. It gives this a little bit of cone head shape. So if you remember that series, uh, you might know what I'm talking about. But anyways, I do like it. It look, does look good on feet. And I uh, actually can't wait to throw these on feet. So stay tuned for the auntie section as well. Sizing wise, I'd say go with your true size. And that is uh, MX1 size egg, ASIC GLI 3. Um, you're gonna be fine with it. If you happen to have very wide feet, you might want to size up half size because they do run a little bit narrow here on the side. So you might run into problems that it's gonna pinch you into your feet. Uh, for me, true size is perfect. And uh, also have the Intrepid and the V7000 in the same size. So if you're familiar with these, just go with that. Not much to add to these actually, just that I do like them. They're probably not gonna be lining too often on my feet um, but I guess now and then I am gonna break them out probably more in the summertime um, even though they are quite suited for fall and spring as well because you do have some dark colors here on the on the suede which is close to the ground stay tuned for the other two Diodora that I have gotten over the past six to eight weeks and gonna be presenting in the other videos and uh, if you're not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe, hit that notification bell so you will get notified each time I'm putting out a new video and I hope you enjoyed the video, hope I'm gonna see you next time again so thanks for watching, until then, bye bye.